so the thing about goals is they're they're really funny things, right? That we know that they're good, right? I mean, this is the thing. Like everything, not, nothing is. I you know, I said the opposite of a great virtue is also a great virtue. So um, you know, grit is a great virtue, but so is quit. Um, goals are great, but they're also bad. And understanding what what can cause them to be bad can help you to make them better. I think so. Goals are really good motivators, right? Because they give you a finish line a very clearly defined finish line that you, you're heading toward. And we know that that's going to cause people to achieve those finish lines more often. And actually it can help. It's, I mean, it's a really good motivator. The problem is that goals set a very clear finish line and they can cause you to continue to head toward the finish line. So what's good about goals is also what's bad about goals. Because if the finish line is still the right place for you to be running toward, goal, having that goal is amazing because it will get you to keep running toward it, right? But if that finish line is no longer the right place for you to continue to be running toward, it's going to get you to keep running toward it. And I think that one of the most amazing examples of this comes from this woman, Siobhan O'Keefe, who was running the 2019 London Marathon. And on mile four, she started having this really bad pain in her foot. And then on mile eight, her fibula bone snapped. She broke her leg. So obviously, like the medical tent was like, uh, stop running, please. <laughs> please stop. You shouldn't run anymore. Um, but she, did, she, she didn't pay attention. She ignored them and she finished the race. 26.2 miles. She broke her leg on mile eight. So I think there's a couple of things here, right? One is like, let's just step back and be logical about this. She's a marathon runner. She loves it. She's obviously jeopardizing the chances that she might ever run a marathon again in order to just complete that one. Right. Like, and who knows when she's going to get back and she could end up with like a compound fracture or maybe need surgery or whatever, and like really not be able to run again um, because she's continuing. So I think hopefully, hopefully we can all agree on that. But the second thing that's really interesting is like, I, tell me if you share this intuition, because like I've written about this and I wrote a book about quit and I'm still like, what a badass. Right. I'm still like, oh, I wish I were that gritty. Man, that's amazing that she kept running. Except it's not, but I can't help but think it is because that's the way that we view that kind of thing, right? Like we view it as this amazing, you know, feat of mental and physical toughness, but it's kind of, it's dumb to keep running and you should actually walk off the course or have the medical people carry you off at mile eight to the hospital to go get your leg attended to. And yet we think she's such a badass. Well, there's people who've built their career on grit. I'm not sure if you're familiar with David Goggins, who is another guy with a story of just grit and determination. And his whole thing is never quit. And he has run ultra marathons and have put himself in the medical tent and has busted multiple bones in his feet. And I remember when I first heard his story, how enamored and just awestruck I was of that guy and thinking if I could just get a, a, a spoonful of that, how much better uh, I would be. And then, and then of course, chasing that and looking to acquire that and wanting to acquire more than that teaspoon. But yeah, at some point, uh, you have to look out for future you and what you want to be accomplishing. And certainly if you love something like that, such as running so much, you're going to want to take precautions so you're able to do that for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm.